I have just started a, a brief backpacking trip. Yeah, it's, it's not working. Well, I've come to a bit of a block. I'm just not in a good mood today. Today has not gone as um, good as I was hoping. Morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video, another adventure. Um, I have just started a, a brief backpacking trip. Um, it'll probably span two to three nights. I'm not quite sure yet um, what I want to do. It's kind of just free flowing, just deciding where I go and how far I go as, as the day goes on. Um, but I'm actually on the same trail that I was uh, a couple days ago um, in the last video that you guys probably saw. Um, and so because of that, I won't be doing a whole lot of video of this first section because you've already seen it. So um, we'll try to get past it and, and uh, continue exploring further down and it should be fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I, like I said, I'm, I'm really just kind of going with the flow and um, I'll decide where to camp. Uh, is the when the time comes I don't really have any sort of spots that I want to go see so um, it should be fun I did get a late start today it's about maybe 9 30 at this point um, that's mainly because I was waiting for the rain to let up it's still a little kind of drizzly little mist um, but it's not too bad and I just wanted to prolong the dryness of my gear <laughs> for as long as possible um, but it does look like the weather should be lightening up a bit um, as the days go as the days go on um, so anyway looking forward to it and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video all right It's already starting off raw. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but I just dropped this camera to GoPro um, and I cracked the the rear screen on it. So um, yeah, it's it's not working, the, the rear screen. Uh, it's still recording, it seems like. Um, and I could see myself on the front screen, but I can't change any of the settings with it with it broken like that. So, ah, that sucks a lot, but there's nothing I could do about it right now. So I'm just gonna keep on going, I guess. Try not to fricking drop this thing again. It fell right out of its little mount. Stupid. So I was thinking um, of maybe staying at this campsite, this unmarked campsite uh, for the night, 
um, considering I didn't leave too early. But because I wasn't filming anything, I got here within like two hours and it's only noon. So um, yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to set up camp and wait here for, I don't know, five hours till dark. So I think I'm gonna continue continue on down the trail and see what else I can find. And I mean, if I can't find a campsite within, I don't know, two or so miles, then I can just come back here if I really need to. Uh, but I, I'm sure I will be able to, you know, there's a whole river bank open um, and so um, it should should be all right but uh, yeah um, because of all the the rain the past couple of days um, a lot of the creeks and the river itself is a bit flooded at the moment um, and so it's definitely it's definitely making this a lot wetter of a journey um, than I was hoping for uh, the trail is pretty flooded and my pants are already starting to it pretty soaked through um, and also it does look like further on the map uh, there is a river crossing where there's no bridge um, and the river looks pretty deep it may not be as deep up there but right now it's it's not really crossable you have to swim across it and there's, there's no way I'm doing that with camera gear so obviously um, so uh, that looks to be about I don't know two miles up the trail so we'll see what happens. Well, I've come to a bit of a block. Um, this trail is supposed to go along the riverbank here, but uh, it's kind of collapsing. <laughs> so the trail is non-existent anymore. Um, I went to go, go down there and check to see where I could find it, but the walls are too high. You can't see even, I mean, there, even if you could see where it came out, you wouldn't be able to get back up. So you'd have to go through the forest and then I saw this little 
I don't makeshift trail in here. At least it resembles kind of a, a bushwhacking trail that people probably tried to get around. But I followed that and I, I looked around many different branches of it and it just didn't go anywhere. So I mean, I could keep looking, but I gotta be honest. I'm just, I'm just not in a good mood today. I just, I'm not finding that rhythm. So I don't, I really don't know what I'm going to do. It's starting to mist again, which is annoying. Um, I don't know. The problem is, is this trail is, it's obviously not kept up very well. Um, there's a lot of creek crossings that are pretty deep. Um, and they're pretty sketchy to get across. Some you have to kind of go on the logs, others you're skipping rocks and then there's mud and there's all sorts of down trees. It's just a it's just a kind of a nightmare. <laughs> Which I mean to be fair is expected in the rainforest like this, but it's it's something you kind of have to be in the right mood to go and want to explore and I'm just I'm just not there. So Well, I figured since I'm kind of tent bound because of the rain, it's not raining that hard, but 
but mosquito. It's not raining that hard, but there is a little, um, it's, it's misty, um, and it just soaks into everything, you know, it, it sucks. Um, and it, my uh, rain cover for my backpack really does not work too well anymore. It's getting, it's aging quite a bit, um, and it just doesn't, it, it's like it's not even there. So I really don't want to get my bag too wet, because then everything that I put in it's going to get wet and whatnot else. So... I figured I'd show you some of my uh, camping gear because I like gear. It's a lot of fun. So start with the tent. It's a Nemo dagger two-person tent. Um, you'll notice a trend. I have a lot of Nemo equipment, <laughs> um, but it's because I like their their brand quite a bit. Um, I have their Tensor um, sleeping pad and then their uh, Disco sleeping bag, 15 degrees, um, and it's. They, they're awesome. I freaking love them. Um, I do eventually want to get one of their pillows. Like their, uh, I forget what they're called, but they have like the foam in them. Um, and they also blow up. And so it's just like a mixture of foam and air. It's, it sounds nice. My mom has one and it, it looks, it looks like it's pretty comfortable. Um, for water filter, I, for, you know, shorter trips like this, I use the Grail. Um, this is actually a product I discovered when I was guiding in Alaska. Um, a lot of the other guides were using them, and they're just awesome. Um, it's essentially a water bottle that you kind of pull out like this. I think there's water in here. I don't want to get the tent too wet. But you got the filter here, um, and then you just put water in this, and you squeeze it down. Um, and so... It's a super easy way to filter water. It takes like, I don't know, five to eight seconds maybe if the filter's new. As the filter starts getting older, it takes a little longer, obviously. Um, but, all right. But it's a great, it's a great product. And uh, really, you don't even need a water bottle if you have this. Um, I still bring a water bottle, especially because it has the measurements and stuff. But, um, you know, if you have a, if you have a grail and you're in the rainforest, you're never gonna run out of water. Um, knife. Freaking love knives. I got a Topps Alaskan Harpoon. This thing is freaking awesome. Love it. Um, it keeps a really nice edge uh, once you get it sharp. And I have too much fun sharpening these things to, to the point where they can just slice through paper without even Without even trying. Um, I do have a Garmin in reach mini. I keep it on my belt loop just because uh, um, I don't like putting them on my backpack because if I leave my backpack somewhere um, or if it falls off, if I lose it or something, I won't have this. And uh, this is a lifesaver or it can be a lifesaver. Um, it's, a, it's a GPS and a SOS device, but you can also text. Um, text people on it um, via subscription and it's a it's a great great little handy dandy tool um, I guess along with navigation I do like to bring a map and a compass um, in like a bag like this waterproof bag um, and that's just at, it's, it's a backup um, the problem with obviously like a GPS or your phone is that it doesn't last forever. The battery is going to die, um, and there's no way to charge it out here. And if you're out in the wilderness longer than expected, um, you want to have <laughs> you want to have a backup plan, um, and you also want to know how to use it. So learn how to use a compass with a map, and you'll be set. But you can just you can buy maps at local stores and the place you're going, or you can print them online. Um, this is just a it's not a very detailed map, but it's a it's a map of the the river valley that I'm trying to hike through, but it's probably not gonna. I probably won't be able to go as far as I was hoping. Um, but and then I have a Sunto compass here. This is awesome. I love this compass and uh, probably one of the best on the market. So I'd highly recommend that. Um, got a jet boil. It's great. Um, this one's actually kind of, it's a bit bigger than uh, 
another one that I have, which is like a little small. It's like an M it's what MS MSR MS MSNR something like that. I don't know, but it's it's a lot smaller. Um, and it doesn't come with Well, today has not gone as um, good as I was hoping, <laughs> to say the least. Um, it's just been a really hard day. Not physically, but mentally and kind of emotionally in some ways. It's just, just not been able to get in the right mindset. Um, I don't know. I just... Yeah, it's just been a struggle. Uh, uh, and it doesn't help that it's raining um, and that I'm all wet. It's crazy. I mean, the rainforest is, is beautiful. And I don't normally mind getting wet in the rainforest. But, I, you know, when you're camping out for a couple of days, or at least that's the goal, it, it makes it a little bit more annoying. Uh, but it's crazy. The ferns... They hold so much water. And, I mean, you're brushing up against hundreds, if not thousands of them when you're walking on a trail. And your your entire pant leg is just going to be soaking wet. I mean, there's no way to get around it. Um, and then, yeah, my socks were super wet. I did bring a, a, uh, an extra pair of socks. kind of wish I brought two because I can't imagine these ones are going to stay dry for too long. Uh, mainly because my boots are soaking wet. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it's just, sometimes it's not easy. It's, it's not. <laughs> um, nature can be a really big, big challenge. Um, and it, it's not for everyone, that's for sure. Um, you know, a lot of my time in nature is amazing. I really enjoy it, but there are certainly days where I just, it's just very, very difficult. And, uh, today was one of them, so... Look, I'm hoping for, you know, I'm hope, hoping to have, be in a better mindset tomorrow and hopefully have better weather and maybe hopefully f be productive, you know, find something and go explore and have a good time. But you really can't guarantee that. I can try and I did, I did go out again tonight, um, even though it was still raining, um, and I went up the hill a little bit, the other trail, and there was a waterfall, and I went down to go and check that out. Um, I, I didn't really explore it too much. I kind of saw it from a distance. Uh, it really didn't look like there was a whole lot around it to create a nice scene, because with a waterfall, yeah, you really kind of need a, a an environment around it it can't just be the waterfall it just doesn't look good that way it's not interesting in my opinion um, even though the waterfall was like a triple cascade it was actually it's pretty large for just being in the middle of nowhere and you know not marked on a map or anything um, and so yeah I mean it's neat to see but it's I, don't, I really don't think it's gonna work out as a photo so um, but yeah I mean tomorrow I'll decide whether or not I want to try to find the other the other part of the, the trail, you know, where it kind of has been, um, I don't even know what the word is, gosh, whatever, ruined, um, or, whether I, or whether I go up the hill or not, we'll see, but um, for tonight, I'm going to go and cook up some, the mountain house, boil some water, and probably call it a day. Um, I've just been kind of writing in my little notebook to kind of pass the time with this rain and it helps to, yeah, think about things. So, all right, I'm gonna go cook up some dinner. And I'll see you guys in the morning.